Oh, and we started. Yes, we have. Please. Oh, right. Okay. We're live. We're so live. we got to talk about you and uh, what it is you do, if you get me. So why don't you just like give me a little rundown of what you do? Well, what I do, my name is the Voodoo Brown, and um, I rap. I'm a lyricist. Um, I'm now releasing my debut album towards the end of this year, and. Um, yeah, that's. I'm a hip hop artist, but um, I'm kind of my music is hip hop with a twist. Um, it's very experimental. Um, there's a lot of uh, different genres of music involved with my music. I mean, there's um, elements of reggae, elements of jazz, funk, soul. So with this um, album, it's kind of like I'm trying to give a little piece of music for everybody. You know, just trying to take all the influences I've had growing up, mm -hmm. just throwing them into one album. So fusion? Yeah, fusion. yeah. Of, it's of, a big of fusion. Hip -hop. And can you spell? Yeah. <laughs> <Just that. laughs> so where does the voodoo come from? I mean, are you familiar with uh, the um, Juju Hand, the John the Conqueror, well, the Mojo? To be honest with you, I've done a lot of reading about voodoo. Um, obviously, I don't, I don't practice that or nothing. Um, the whole reason for my name is uh, when I was younger, when I used to rap, a lot of guys would say, you know, you, you, you put us under a curse kind of thing. And um, the, my cousin, his uh, DJ name was Vendetta. So it was kind of like when people used to say to me, oh, you put us under a spell. It was like, I, I kind of came up with things like Zombie Man and things like that. But in the end, it was like, yeah, I, I like Voodoo because it fits with the Vendetta kind of thing, you know. So you kind of just ran with that name. For so me. maybe you should have some Haitian music in there because well, that's where it all comes um, from. Within the album, with the intro, there's some Haitian drums in there. Yeah, there's some Haitian drums in there. Tom Tom Maku. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's um, Voodoo's always been fascinating. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not sure that really there is anything justification. I think maybe some kind of um, psychoactive drugs were given to people, natural plants, and that's what made them like run around like zombies. Well, I think to be honest, yeah, there's some of that. I think what it is, you know, how it is in some of them, those sort of countries, um, their belief is their beliefs are very different. Do you know what I mean? It's like things we believe in, they wouldn't, and vice versa. And, Oh, well, yeah, I mean, it's uh, very strange. The things, Islamic yeah. faith that you you get laid when you die. That's like <laughs> that reminds me of the trial of witches that used to be in this country. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, if yeah. you drown, you're innocent. When you <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, what I think is a good idea is to kind of explain um, where you think hip hop came from because it's now probably the soul hip hop dubstep most soul most popular music in this country well i think you know even just to say in this country i say in this world it's sort of like um hip -hop, dominate, you know? hip hop isn't just uh, music it's a culture it's the way people talk it's the way people dress it's the way people dance do you know what i mean and it's sort of like people kind of forget within hip hop it's not just about the rapping it's about the people that play the music the djs that we call them the turntablists you know the guys that scratch and stuff yeah and um you know you've got the graffiti you've got the art side so you know there's a there's a lot of, lot of elements in, in involved in hip hop and um you know, that's but how I live my the graffiti, life. The graffiti was on um, London Underground tubes trains uh, in the tunnels about 30, 34 years ago. And then, uh, that, so that was before hip hop. So I see where you're coming from about the art, but maybe that was the beginning of it, of break away from normal culture. In a way, it's sort of like the way that all things start, it's kind of a rebellion thing. And I think. Yeah. Um, yeah. The gangs was where yeah, sure it's, it's it kind of like from. a gang thing. And I mean, with with hip hop, I mean, I believe you know what I've read about it. It's like it kind of started in the Bronx, yeah, and it started yeah. with like these these house parties where guys yeah. would just get a load of people together. They get a sound system together, and they they'd have two turntables. And this is like you say before the birth of hip hop, and they'd, they'd catch a James Brown break, you know, and they'd loop that, and then they'd have it on the other deck, and they'd just be looping it back and forth. The next minute, the MC was born. The guy yeah. who's now chatting yeah. along to that, you know, you know, he's getting the crowd moving. But that's very Jamaican, though. Come from toasting. Toasting yeah, yeah, was the yeah, first yeah, yeah. rap thing. Definitely, yeah. definitely. I'll go with you with that. You know, toasting was kind of the, the first style of rapping. And, um,